All right, well, hello everyone. Um, I am starting this video in the kitchen because a lot of it is going to be about how I feel myself surrounding a workout. And I thought today would be a great day to share about that because I have uh, my first running workout back. It is on the boost treadmill, so it won't be at full body weight, but it's a seven mile progression run and I'm excited about it. Uh, and then later in the day, I'll have a longer bike, uh, just like a moderate bike ride, but two hours long. So it's really important for me to fuel well for this morning workout, but also recover well from it so that I'll be able to have a good bike later in the day and get a lot out of that. So going into a workout, uh, it's really good to have a meal that's high in carbs and low in fiber and fat, and then it has a little bit of protein. So I usually um, make good old pancakes. I make a lot of sound effects when I'm doing things. Um, I don't know why. I'm alone right now and I'm, I'm still doing it. So it's just the way I am and I won't apologize for it. Oh yeah. I got the amount of water right on the first try. So yeah, it's probably gonna be an incredible workout. That almost never happens. I'm usually like, mm, add a little bit more. Mm, that's too much. Okay, add some more pancake mix. We'll do this little dance for a few minutes here. But today, nail it. All right, let's give him a go. Oh, it happened, but it wasn't great. It was terrible footage too, don't okay. worry. Okay, the flip was like a B minus, the footage was maybe a C minus. Now for the toppings. Looks incredible. Is this gonna be B roll or what are you No, none of this is B roll. <laughs> Everything's A roll when it comes to this pancake. Hey, I don't think A roll is the term. Maybe though. I make the terms, okay? Pipe down there from the rafters. <laughs> <laughs> There's, we got some apple on it's there. It's insane I used to pretend to have you. <laughs> it is crazy. And then we sprinkle some nice homemade granola over the top. Ooh. Also, for workout days or any day of the week, I always have coffee. Uh, and, you know, I alternate between Spro and Drip. You know, sometimes I throw a French press in there or go buy one if I'm feeling like a treat. Um, I'm, I don't discriminate. I like all types of coffee. Too short to do anything? No, I'm kidding. Hey, don't film this. <laughs> it's sensitive. All right, so we're making a protein shake for after I'm done with my workout. Uh, so starting with some just unflavored protein. Uh, you want it to be whey protein because that's the most bioavailable type. Um, and you just wanna try to get one without artificial sweeteners. A scoop of this boy in here. You want to have carbs after your workout as well like everyone seems to know that you need protein after a workout but a lot of people don't realize you also need carbs so you want about a three to one ratio of carbs to protein um because carbs help replenish your glycogen stores and then protein starts rebuilding your muscles um but anyways you want simple carbs so this seems really unhealthy but a lot of the time i just use straight sugar in my protein shake. You could also use like honey, maple syrup. Um, some people use Gatorade powder, but it doesn't really matter. Your body just wants easily digestible uh, carbs right after a workout. So I'm trying to just put some sugar straight in there. And hack of the century, 
Um, I always lose the little ball that goes in the protein shaker. Um, so instead of that, you can just put a scoop of ice in and it helps to like mix it really well when you shake it. Also keeps it nice and cold for after your workout. So you can thank me later. Pretend you're using, like, you pretend you're tasting it when you shake it. That's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. Well, I would be willing to suggest that. <laughs> anyways, I think it's thoroughly shaken up, but I might keep going anyways, because it's pretty fun. I'm gonna head out for my workout now. Got all the pieces together. Also got a spro for the road. Ooh. I don't know if you're really supposed to have a spro right before a workout, but I do it almost every time, so. You want to be a runner with the short shorts, but you're a little bit uncomfortable with your body, so you have to wear longer tights. It's because of the bike seat, okay? I've already explained myself. It's raining. Good job. I apologize. Apparently it's not a two-handed job either. Wahoo! Okay, I think that was the hardest part of the workout, so we're good to go now. Woot! Let's get it! I think we got running in the boost. Very excited. Yay! Oh, it was a struggle, but I've done it. And we're going. We are going. Entry, let me tell you. But uh, anyways, yeah, so very fun treadmill workout. Uh, I think probably part of it's because I just love running workouts so much more than biking or elliptical workouts, but it was incredible. Highlight of the week. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit sad. But uh, yeah, I got to cool down on the elliptical just to like, you know, keep the impact a little bit lower. <laughs> So workout done, cool down done. Got my protein shake here, gonna slurp this puppy down. But yeah, after I drink this pup, I'm just gonna head home and make some lunch.
All right, making some lunch. Got the, the pans on the stove ready to go. Here's uh, the ingredients. After lunch, so I made this pumpkin banana date smoothie with some granola on top. Gonna be delish. Um, yeah, but just getting in some more carbs because I've got a bike later. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go work on my taxes. <laughs> yeah, uh, doing my taxes went really well. Made a lot of progress. Things are looking great. Uh, yeah, so gonna bike now. Got this baby ready to go. Uh, 90 minutes, two hours, so, you know, it's fine. 45 minutes in, and this is the status of the sweating. It just, I don't know why, it just collects a little droplets and doesn't like actually go anywhere. But this happens every time, so I've accepted it. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Look at this social media king right here. That's how you get number six on the clout rankings. rankings. Never end. Yeah, it's, you know, I just gotta watch the magic happen. <laughs> Finished the bike. It's not even 7 p.m. It's only 6:55. So, man, I really crushed that. Did not procrastinate at all. Uh, but yeah, solid day of work. And also, while I was on the bike, I watched the UCLA Alabama game. Let me tell you, what a nail biter! So exciting. I was so into it. When Alabama hit that last second three to put it into overtime, I sprinted for like a solid three minutes. It was insane. But Honestly, I'm glad to see UCLA won because they were the underdog 11 seed. So hype. Uh, it makes me wish I were a male basketball player. But uh, also feeling great about underdogs. So yeah, um, probably gonna go eat some more food. But uh, that's all for now, folks.